Hello everyone. All right, so I kind of took a break for like a few days and then I didn't record, but I'm getting back into it and posting now cuz I have a bunch of videos. So, today I'm using Maniology M314. This image right here, it's a skeleton with some flowers, and I might use something else. I really like this image, but my nails are super short. So, It'd be kind of weird. It would just have like the face. Anyways, okay, so there's the plate. 10% off code um, Yvonne10. On my base, I have Salon Perfect, and it is He's With Me. It's this beautiful, shiny, glittery red. And then, let's see. So, to get started, I am going to use 191. It's kind of like a tannish color for the outline. So I'm just going to apply that there. And then get a couple scrapes, of course, and then pick up. And then we are going to do a reversed stamp. So we're going to paint this in. All right, so... I'm using clear jelly stamper polishes to paint in. This is number 71 to start with. <laughs> it's been that kind of morning. Okay. So getting that, again, number 71. Using Maniology's um, dotting tool with the brush on the side. It's like the double-ended one. Use them for everything. Okay, so there's that one. And I think I need to mix this one a little more. But it's okay. So then, painting this one. And I'm just going to maybe fast forward if I remember. Um, just through all the painting. You have to be careful because that's a little bone right there. And then the two petals are on the other side. If you get that intricate with it and then let's see if I got that yep okay and then I'm using I think oh I, maybe I won't fast forward I don't know so this is n12 it's the purple neon so I'm just going in at different flowers to color them in paint them in color them in I always say both okay and then this big one down here now this one goes here you can see the image and then it also goes on the other side of the arm right there and then the rib cage so you want to do a little line down and then just painting it in. And then you can see it there. And then let's see, I use number 19 as well. They're shades of pink um, besides that purple. And then for some of the flowers, I'm gonna mix the colors. So this one's 19. And there's also like some little moths or butterflies. They look like moths to me just by the way they're shaped but they could be butterflies. I'm saying moths. All right, and then just go slow to the edge. Earth that one. I really like these shades together too, they're pretty. And then I'll do this bigger one here. It's kind of already mixing with the colors, which I'm completely fine with because that was the plan anyways. And if you just heard that, I just knocked over the polishes again. So, fun. All right. Picking them up so they don't spill. Okay. And then mixing some more. There's also a moth right there, so be careful. And then... Just painting in until they're all... 
covered. Getting the 19 and then the N12 and 71. So I just finish painting. I love this image too. I've had it for so long and I don't think I've ever did a design with it. And I'm pretty surprised. And if I did, I forgot. But I don't think I did. My daughter used this plate and I'm like, oh, keep the plate out. It's so cute. Because I wanted to do the one with the two skeletons, like the couple. But then I changed my mind. Because I don't think it will fit and look good on my nails. Because they're shorter. Alright. So there's all the flowers. And then with the moths, I'm going to do some dark on the bottom and in the middle. And then light with it mixed on the top and then the other one here just like that all right so now that's all painted in we need to do the skeleton so for this one i have clear jelly stamper again it's the sticky polish so i'm just going in with the big pieces and then I'll paint in the arm although you could probably just do it with this but I'll be a little bit more careful and then the head like that and then I will get this back put some on there and get my brush and then do the little tiny arm bones down like this and then there's some one of the bones there and then you can see I have some little holes to fill in on this skull so I'm just going around slowly like this and then I will turn around to make sure now it is really hard to see with the tan that I used to stamp with but I'm gonna um, stamp again with black to really make it like come out so that's done so while that's drying I have sinful colors black on black and then just a makeup sponge that I use for my gradient and I'll cut that off at a different time and I'm just putting some on the thinner side and going around the edge of my nails now you can use latex obviously I'm not I'm just going around and then I'll just clean up this black is really easy to clean up sometimes blacks are really really super opaque and this one's really good but I don't know it comes off of my skin easy so I'm not really worried about it and then it's just like that so I did <clears throat> apply simply peel to my nails and now I'm gonna use plate um, MXM 104 I'm gonna use these images here but first, I forgot this nail. Okay, so I did put a sticky base coat. And this is dry. So I'm going to apply this right in the middle here. And then just kind of pressing till it sticks. Just like this. And then over that, I'm taking Uber Chick Beauty's Essential Black and putting it there and scraping, picking up, and then just lining up. And that's what I meant by I'm just making it pop out more, is giving it that black 
um, outline. You can see it on my thumb as well. And then with this plate, I am taking the polishes that I use to paint in the design. <clears throat> so that's 71, and this is N12, and 19, and then just scraping to mix, and then picking up, and applying. And then getting the second layered image with the black and scraping this one. I love this image. I think I've used it for something else too. But I thought it matched the skulls really good. Like, or not the skulls, the flowers that were on the skull. So I did get a, um, the head scout, the, oh my goodness, I cannot speak the skull from this plate and I painted it in because I thought I would put it like maybe on my pinky or something but I don't know I kind of like it without it and then it just being the red but I feel like it's kind of missing something so I'm trying to decide but for now I'm gonna apply a smear knot top coat from Maniology and I might just leave my pinky how it is I can't decide <laughs> because um, on the my nails most of the red is covered up but you can still see so I might just leave it because it's a really pretty red and you can see it like shining through the flowers and stuff so I might just leave it like that. But there it is. I hope you get some ideas. This design is so cute. The little skeleton with the flowers. It's so pretty. Alright. I hope you guys have a good day. And see you later. Bye.